welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Mind. Yes, I'm pumped up as always. Excited that you are back here with me, getting some more great information that's going to inspire and empower you to become and maintain that status as a super achiever. You know, as always, we've got another great topic. Let's dive straight in and get the question of the day out. Today, we're going to be talking about ideation, and I'm going to ask, what have you ideated on lately? What have you ideated on in the past? What does that really mean? Well, hey, I want you to understand something. This may be a major breakthrough for those that are looking for this answer, this solution. One thing I want you to know and understand is that ideas come from within. They start in the mind and they are created into the universe. So let me say that one more time. Ideas, ideation come from within, but they start in the mind and then they are moved out into the universe to become creations. Why did I say that? What I want you to know is that Every idea that you had, and I've been blessed to have many different ideas, and actually I spent about six years in research and development and ideation of all the different ideas I had when it came to my businesses and the talents and the skills and the gift God gave me and that I was blessed with. What I want you to know and what I want you to understand, there is nothing wrong with an idea Failing. What do I mean by that? Well, the first first thing, the only way an idea fails if you label it as failure. I had some failure ideas, essentially ideas that I put on the back where I said either time, money, energy, or resources are not something I want to invest in this idea as of right now. So I'm gonna put it over here. It's captured, it's been researched, it's been developed. And when the time is right or when all the other things are ready to roll and it makes sense to come into our core business uh, portfolio, we'll make it happen. See, somebody would have labeled that as a failure. Well, you spent all that time, all that money, all that energy, all those resources, but but, but you can't look at it that way because I didn't fail. I learned, I experienced, and if I didn't do those two things, I would have never known. I would have made up, and we all do it. You would have made up some type of theological, imaginative, you know, idea about, well, this is why that wouldn't work, that, 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 that. See, that is what actually doing, taking action of an idea inside, in the mind, putting it in the universe will do for you because you will be able to learn. You will be able to experience and you will actually be able to have written, proven, documented information about that idea. So again, I ask you, what are you ideating on right now? What idea do you have inside of you? What idea are you working on right now? What idea did you work on in the past and put on the back burner? Did you really just say, you know what, that's a failure? Or did you really analyze what you learned, what you gathered, what you experienced, and said, you know what, this is something that, you know, I don't want to do in the future, or something that if I had the right time, the right energy, the right resources, the right team, the right innovations, right technology, whatever the case may be, I could do it. If that was two, two or three years ago, I challenge you to go back and look at that idea. Because that happened to us. One of our number one core businesses right now was due to the fact that when we researched and developed it like two or three years ago, it wasn't right. Now, it's at the forefront driving us home. So, ideation is something that you must embrace and it's something that you must not dismiss. You must learn, you must experience, document it, and make the decision if it's for you now Never or later, but you got to do it. You got to put it out in the universe. Don't make up some facade, some idea, some philosophy about it unless you have actually done it. All right, I get it. As I always say, you have exactly what you say now. 
If you believe it now, it is yours to have right now today. The power of life and death is in the tongue, more importantly in the mind. But first, kind of from the inside, you got to believe in your heart. Take care, share it, ideate. Let me know how it worked. I'll see you back here on the next one.